the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Boxingboys.com live here with Michelle Rosado, Raging Babe. Obviously, uh, you've been doing a fantastic job uh, doing these grassroots events throughout the country. You've done Arizona. Uh, I've seen you in North Carolina. But this is your first Philly show, so this has to kind of hit close to home because this is home base. Before you went to Arizona, you were a Philly native. We know you from here. So just talk a little bit about having your own first self-promoted card. I mean, I know a couple of years ago, people didn't believe you would be here. Here you are with some very interesting and, you know, upcoming, you know, prospects that people really want to see. How do you get this together? Uh, you know, me and you, Ness, we are talking about relationships, and that is really what it is about. It's about developing the right relationships in the business, growing at the right time, expanding at the right time, paying homage you know, to people who've done it before you. you put, there's always room to learn, and there's room for everybody. Um, but I think a lot of people come in the business and they want to take over right away, and they want to change up the business. And what I've learned is you got to learn, and you got to pay homage, and you got to develop the right relationships. Um, and that's how all this happens. This is how you get the support. This is how you get up and coming prospects on your card because they enjoy working with you. They trust you. They know you're not going to burn them, cheat them, rob them, lie to them. And so that's kind of what I base everything off of. Speaking of those up and coming prospects, you have some pretty big names like we spoke of off camera. Damani Rock, signed the Rock Nation. Sonny Conso, newly signed a top rank. Christian Cardo, a, 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 you know, a, a gem that hasn't been discovered yet at 17 right. and 0. How'd you get these guys on this? Like, how is Sonny not. Uh, a like debut on a top rank card. Uh, because you know what, it makes more sense that he debut at Philly. This is where he's from. He grew up and was like, born and bred in South Philly. So why take him to Fresno to make his full debut? He should be making it here like he is in front of his friends, his family, his community, in front of all the media, the Inquirer, in front of you and everybody else. So again, it makes sense. Yeah, he could have went to Fresno and debuted under like Jose Ramirez, but so what? Like what does that really mean here locally for him and his fan base? So this is a good coming out party for him. Top Rank's gonna be right back in town before you know it. You'll hear an announcement soon. And he'll get to make his debut under the Top Rank banner too. Um, but everybody's excited about him. When I heard he was like really gonna turn pro, I knew he had to be on this card. And I'm like, I don't care who he signs with, I don't care if it's the Bella Hearn, Top Rank, Heyman, I made it a point to reach out to everyone and say, whoever he signs with, he's got a debut in Philly. And again, relationships. When you have good relationships, things work out. Now, how much can we believe about him being the real Rocky or baby Klitschko, the next White Hope? There's so <laughs> many new names for this guy. I, Is he going to fill those big shoes? I think he's going to be the next Sonny Kanto. And I think that's special in itself. Italian heavyweight from South Italy, born and bred. He is the total package, and you know, he's gonna develop, and they're gonna give him the right developmental fights. Nobody's gonna like throw him in there right now with like a big baby. But you know, it's it's gonna take time, and he's still young, and he's fresh out of the amateurs, but everybody wanted him for a reason. Now, could we look forward to seeing you have him on future cards, or was this something where you got him right at the mo right moment before his actual uh, signing? Who? Uh, Sonny. Oh, I mean, as long as we're running here, as long as there's a good relationship, they're always welcome to fight on our cards, on my card. Um, and again, when Top Rank comes to town, you know, we usually work with them. So this is not the end for us with Sonny Kanto. I'm sure there's a lot more we're going to work on together just because of, you know, who he is signed with and boxing in Philly, period. And now you have another heavyweight on the card. We spoke of Damani Rock, signed to Rock Nation. What was the thought process behind having this many heavyweights? Is it because the division's hot or is it um, because these guys are local Philly fighters? It's actually really simple. I called the card Philly Special because I think Christian Cardo is the Philly Special. And I said, okay, well, he needs a supporting cast. And so I wanted all the special guys in Philly, which Darmani Rock is one of the Philly Special guys, Sonny Kanto, a Philly Special guy, Marcel Rivers. So for me, it was about getting the most special guys from Philly on the card. Now, how far are we from seeing Rage and Bay 
on a DAZN or a ESPN because these guys have unlimited bandwidth and I'm using air quotes. Both, you know, Eddie and uh, Bob Aaron brag about unlimited bandwidth and being able to put on fights at whatever time of night. Because of these applications and streaming services, have you spoken to someone? Are, are you going to be able to take this series um, somewhere that we can see it without buying physical tickets? Well, I like to stay in my lane. And like I said, I'm still growing. So I would be really naive and ignorant to say, oh, I'm ready right now to do my own television show. I think I've still got a couple more years to go, even though people thank the difference. Well, I never met your own. I mean, somehow getting your fight seen on those oh, networks. Oh, okay. Well, we are going to be streaming on okay. the Facebook Fight Night Live with Mark Fratto. But of course, my goal is to get a Showbox card in Philly because we've got a lot of talent here, and they'll fight. And that's what Showbox is about. They want young talent in good fights. So Philly guys, they'll fight. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll get to that point. Now, I've seen, uh, obviously, you said Showbox reminds me of Jerron Ennis just fought on Showbox. Yeah. Uh, another strong Philly fighter that Philly you have special. out here is uh, Jesse Hart. Uh -huh. um, are those the type of names you're thinking of? For? Uh, your next Philly special. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about Christian Pardo. I'm thinking about continue helping them brand and grow, like you said. Um, he's like an, a little hidden gem, but on purpose. He's got a really smart team. His brother is super smart. They know what they're doing. Developmental fights. There's no need for him to go sign with anybody right now. But it is getting close. But At 17 and 0, you don't think it's time? You don't know how much leverage he has in this city. Anybody anybody would sign him. He could fight anywhere, anytime he wants to. They have a lot of leverage. They're huge ticket sellers. They have a huge fan base. And they're getting the right fights at the right time. So pretty so what soon. Would, what would signing to a big promoter, how would that damage that? Um, well, control. Control. You lose a little control, maybe? maybe? Educators. What kind of control Listen, would he lose? Well, you know, not being able to fight in Philly as much, maybe. You know, and we Could know he how somehow negotiate that into his signing? Yeah, but come on, Ness. You're asking me I'm, stuff that you know the answer well, to. Well, I don't know his leverage. If you think he's a ticket seller, I, I remember of a guy course. like Seth Mitchell, which you and I both know. Yeah. He was able to make sure that he fought consistently in AC, which was close to his home base here in They're, uh, they're holding America. all the cards right now. They're a big deal in Philly. They love fighting at home. They're a big name in here. So when the time is right, they'll sign when it's time to get the bigger television fights and travel across the country. But so many fighters forget to build at home, and then they're forgotten. I mean, there's some Philly fighters right now that if they fought in Philly, they wouldn't put 100 seats. They wouldn't put 100 people in the seats. And they're on TV. They're bigger names. They're, but why? Because they were taken out of their city, and they were fighting in Seattle. They were fighting in, like, Tim up too and it's like well you become forgotten that way too so I think they've been really smart by holding out so how big is the arena where is it located how could people get tickets this show is all about South Philly 2300 arena and right now we're at capacity so no tickets sold out no I don't have tickets I think yeah you guys are done Marcel Rivers yep Marcel up sorry about that no problem. right now we're at capacity we're hoping that maybe tomorrow we'll get like a few tickets back in from people but uh, yeah. And what is capacity in the 2300? Uh, close to 1,500 people. That's, and that's a location that even Al Heyman uses uh, frequently, even Bob Arum. So that is... Listen, I say it all the time, real promoters promote. you got to put in the legwork. you got to be out there in the streets. you got to hang the posters. you got to do the grunt work. you got to sell the tickets. you got to hustle. you got to do the grassroots marketing. That's how this happens. I mean... Is everyone here local? I know it's a Philly special, but... Are the opponents also from Philly? Because I know you've worked in other states, so I don't know if you brought in some talent from Arizona, maybe no, some West Coast no. guys. Well, some of you guys, some of the opposition are from New Jersey. We got a kid from California coming in. Uh, Atlantic City, Jersey. That's the bulk of it. We got a kid from Boston coming in who's going to give Marcel Rivers a hell of a fight. Um, that fight's probably the most intriguing to me. Well, I don't want to let you go without giving you an opportunity to let people know how you got started because obviously I know a little bit. Um, I don't know everything. Uh, so if you want to let the world know how you got started and just your future plans because it obviously doesn't stop with this card. No, my future plans is easy. I want to keep on doing club level cards. It's where my heart is. It's where my passion is. You know, nothing better than seeing a guy who's 4-0 develop into fighting on the TV and fighting for a title. Like that 
you can't even describe that feeling like a Jason Sosa, like a Gabe Rosado, like a Jarrett Hurd, where they started fighting out on club shows and you look at them now and you're like, wow, I remember when they were fighting in a little high school auditorium. So that's really where my heart is and that's where I want to continue to grow and learn. So yeah, there's more to come between Philly and Arizona. Five years from now, where is Raging Babe? That's a good question. Um, I think I'll still be doing this. Is, I think I'll still be doing club shows. Now, I know that that is your brand. I'm not sure. Is it also Raging Babe Promotions? Like, what is this? It's just Raging Babe. Okay. Everything falls under the same umbrella now. I used to kind of decipher things, but now it's all one company, one brand. All right. Well, if you could give anyone your social media that haven't been following you, can do so at this time. Follow me at Raging Babe. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Raging Babe. Thank you Thanks, so much. Dad. All right. What's up, TBV family? Yes, yes. YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.